What's up everybody, it's Ghost Robo, and today we're taking a look at a super cool game called Battle Islands Commanders. Now this is from the fine folks at 505 Games who recently brought us Abzu, one of my favorite indie games of 2016. That was the undersea serene adventure of exploration where we got to swim with dolphins, sea turtles, and a freaking manatee. And I would only be showing you this game if I thought it was cool and worth your time. And at first blush, I, I wasn't sure, but the polish and the prowess that 505 has put into this really makes it shine. And before I show you some of the actual action, let's sweeten the deal. The game is available on PC and now PS4 and Xbox One totally for free. And if you download it via the link below and let me know in the comments what platform you got the game on, I'm going to give away four $50 gift cards to either the PSN store the Xbox Live Store or the Steam Store. So all you gotta do is download the game via the link in the description. Let me know in the comments what platform you grabbed it on and we'll get four of you a $50 gift card to either put into this game or get some other games. And to sweeten the deal even more, 505 Games has been kind enough to provide me with $50 of gold for Battle Island Commanders players on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So we'll be giving those codes away as well. Let's check out what we got going on here. Basically, the goal is to build up the best battalion you can out of all these different unit cards. Now, they cost different values, they do different stuff, but all of them are grounded in reality, and that's what I really like here. It has a very realistic military feel because all of the units match these different theaters of war. So as you battle, as you win rounds, as you win units, you'll also be earning medals that take you through different areas and different environments and different sets of units. So you've got Central Pacific, North Africa, Mediterranean, Eastern Front, and it's really fun to move through the ranks and acquire units that fit those specific locales. Very, very cool. But let's dive right in. No better way uh, than just to show you what's up. We'll face off against the AI just so I can uh, have a little bit of an upper hand here as I show you. Now, you have command points, and that's how you'll deploy your units. And you're going to spend them uh, basically uh, utilizing a always growing point total. And you need to really be careful because you don't want to spend too many points, and you also don't want to save too many points. It's a very fine balance, as you'll see. And I'm going to drop in a garage here because this deploys tanks uh, over and over, which I really like. I like having my tanks. And there's a really nice balance uh, of you know, units that are good against armor, units that are good against infantry, units that do direct attacks like that, units that can move quickly, uh, units that can harass, units that can snipe. Let's throw a sniper in here. You know, this is an epic unit here that can come in and do some serious damage. But I love the quick little battles. And in between some of the bigger stuff I've been playing lately, Horizon, Legend of Zelda, this is a fun diversion that I've really, really enjoyed. And normally I'm more of like a fantasy uh, and kind of, you know crazy guy, but I've lately been wanting some more more realistic stuff, and I found this to be super fun and almost relaxing. I know that sounds totally weird. We, we were talking about Abzu and how that was relaxing, but what makes this one relaxing is that, you know, there's like a very, a very nice and consistent flow to it, uh, and you feel like you are just kind of the, the, the overseeing commander uh, of this whole military. And they will go where you call, and they will come where you beckon. And I love just kind of picking and balancing my units of, like, who I want here, who I want there, and making sure that I do my darndest to keep my ship in the back alive. And that's a little trickier than it looks, uh, but the battles all play out over a very quick amount of time, which is nice. So we have an advantage here. We've got a nice tank uh, encampment up front. I'm going to try to bank on that on this side and see what we can do. Let's throw the tank in there. We'll throw a sniper in as well. Uh, they are really coming in hot on this side of things, um, but hopefully our battleship can defend as we deal some serious damage. And I'm going to bring in my motor boys. We don't even need to bring in my motor boys. Quick victory there. I feel good about that one. Glad I could show you guys a little bit of domination right off the bat. And uh, every time you win a match, you will get crates. Now, I was just doing a training to show you, so no crates here. Uh, but you'll get crates that give you new units and new currency. Um, and then you'll also get medals, and medals move you up those theaters. You can see uh, the different theaters cost, okay, Central Pacific 120, North Africa 500, and you'll move up the ranks that way. Uh, so, um, we've got a whole bunch of units, and I want to just kind of go through the variety here. you got attack dogs, uh, you've got bazooka, you got paratrooper, you got all sorts of planes even, tanks, um, and then some direct fire uh, type units like these missiles here, or like the uh, naval missiles I have 
in my battalion. I um, mean, it's really fun to kind of find what what grouping of units works for you. And it's not just all about like the best units. You kind of have to find one that balances, okay, some, some good infantry, some good armored, some good anti-infantry, some good anti-armored, maybe a special strike, maybe a special character, an encampment or two, and go to work. Let's see how we do in ranked. Let's see if we're able to put in the same kind of dominant work as we did against the AI. Boom, baby. Hardstyler is our opponent today, and let's figure out what the heck we want to do. Hmm, I'm gonna kind of let my points uh, cook a little bit here and see what he deploys. Let's react, uh, because I've got good things to take out his infantry, his armor, be on the offensive or put my tanks. I guess we could just go here. Let's do this. Let's go real aggressive here. Uh, and let's just put a nice big group of units here. He's got that bazooka man, which I don't like. I'm gonna throw the sniper in. Ooh, he uses aggression. And I use my aggression. We come out a little bit on top, although I'm assuming he's got some points banked. Uh, we're sniping away. A little bit of sniper fire. Never hurts yet. Let's throw these motorcycles in just because you haven't seen them. I love these guys. They go quickly. They help out. They can flank. And they get in here. Now, their encampment is going to be pretty tough. But uh, we should do not too terrible of a job taking it out. Let's throw in a tank. Oh, he throws in a tank as well. A bigger tank. Tank on tank. With a oh my god, he's pushing me straight back. Don't do it. Now, like I mentioned, the game is newly out on PS4 and Xbox One. <sighs> Maybe I can talk to him about getting it on Switch, because I feel like it would be just freaking fantastic on Switch. A great way, like I said, in between Zelda sessions. But right now, you can use it in between Horizon sessions, in between uh, Halo Wars sessions, stuff like that. It's kind of a good, like, palate cleanser, a good end of the day game. And we are dominating. Man, doesn't matter if it's ranked, doesn't matter if it's AI. Our squad is pretty, pretty dang pristine. I think we've formed a good team here. I feel good about what we got. And look at that win. That is how you destroy. Good night and good luck. We are victorious. Let's see. We'll get some supply crates now and some medals. Uh, so we're moving on up the ranks. Um, and we will now open one of these guys. Let's see what we got. This is a basic supply crate. So we got 30 uh, currency. And a dog card. And of course, the more cards you get of each unit, uh, they will upgrade. So now you can see I can go here and promote up these dogs to rank two. Um, but let's open up an Imperial Crate. These are the biggest, best chests full of the coolest cards and units. We've got a lot of it. Ooh, okay, 188 of those, 16 of those, two, two. A lot of epics, a lot of rares, feeling pretty good about this. And again, you use those units uh, to go in and improve. So you see this guy here, he's got one or two. Um, but for example, let's find someone I really want to boost up. Aha, right here. Okay, so this plane, this is an epic medium bomber, and it sets a strafing run. Uh, so let's upgrade him, and then we're going to throw him into battle so you can see what he does. Um, let's promote him right there. He is up to rank two, and I'll grab him. Uh, instead of my, oh, I really like my tanks. Oh, this is tough, this is tough. Uh, okay, well, I'll get rid of my motorcycles, and let's just, let's mix it up. I'm gonna put some dogs in here. Dogs are a little bit vulnerable, but I'll throw them in. Instead of the sniper, I'm gonna give you guys uh, the officer who helps boost the rate of fire and the speed of all units. Um, let's go with... Uh, these guys are pretty darn cool. They're camo camouflage infantry uh, that kind of hide out, so let's grab them uh, instead of the regular infantry. And then I'm gonna grab the paratroopers instead of the this missile here um you know what i'll dump the encampment as well let's let's grab something else you want to go with a big old Ooh, this is a good looking emplacement let's do that wait okay that's uh, yeah let's go here all right cool this is a weird lineup i've never played with this lineup uh so we're gonna go into a little ai this way we get in fast and ferocious and can check out this unique lineup there is that bomber that i was showing you it does three uh Three bombs drops in. You can use it to take out their uh, their defenses and their battleship or units on the field. Ooh, I want to see these commandos. Let's go in stealth. And um, let's bring an officer with them. So the officer increases their rate of fire and their speed. Dogs are vulnerable. These are level sixes up here. Not feeling so good about that. But we could drop some paratroopers in. Uh, I'm going to put machine gunners in. Golly goodness. The nice thing about paratroopers is that they can be dropped in from anywhere. So you can even put a paratrooper way back in enemy territory. Oh goodness! Let's see if this attack dog can do work on this bazooka man. Eat him! Eat him! I don't like I don't like eating people, but sometimes it's something you got to do. Um, and again, like we can drop in paratroopers, but I don't I don't want to do that. I need these commandos. Come on, commandos! Let's go in stealth style. This is a real tough battle. 
he actually has a, a quite the upper hand right now, which is making me feel real nervous about things. Fire, let's go. Take out this flame, man. Come on, there we go. Okay, let's drop some paratroopers in. His body blew up. We're going to drop them in. They come in via plane, which is really cool. Uh, let's get these machine gunners to finish the dogs off. Good night, dogs. Dogs are real dangerous. They can be they can be really good, or they can be a total waste. You just kind of have to see what's up. Throw that tank in there as they bazooka Joe us up. All right, come on, man. Fire with that tank. One more fire. Yeah. Okay, good work. Okay, let's bring an officer in and some dogs. I know dogs are a little weak, but maybe if they come in with an officer and behind some tank fire, they can be kind of useful. There we go. Bite that building. Maybe dogs aren't the best to bite buildings, but I love the paratrooper action. Um... I need these guys in here. You know, I really want to get that bombing run. I'm going to get it for you before all is said and done here. Gosh, they're being real offensive and aggressive now. Uh, maybe we can bomb. I don't want to really waste a bombing run. I need more machine gunners. And let's throw a light tank in as well. Got to defend our left side here. Double command points. All right, this is where we really want to bring this in. Come on, attack dogs. Do not let that happen. All right. Um, paratroopers are going to come in hot and heavy right on his defenses. And we'll bring some machine gunners in as well right over here. Come on, paratroopers. Do your job. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, I'm going to put a gun turret in enemy territory. That may have been not the smartest idea, uh, but it did distract him for a little bit. Okay, machine gunners. Attack dogs. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, this is, like I said, this is a weird unit. So I'm just going to go for the bombing run. He's got a humongous squad being sent in here. Let's see if we can blow them to smithereens. Okay. We gotta line this up just right. Okay, please work, please work, please work. Uh, drop that bomb! Boom! Okay, did good damage. Not the best damage, and I think he might actually get the win here. Uh, okay, this clearly is not the right set of, of units, but it was a fun one to mess with. And that also shows you that the AI can be tough and give you a challenge, which is nice. So, whew, gonna have to definitely mess with my battalion. Probably go back to some of my original uh, original strong combos, but just want to show you guys the eclectic variety of cards. And this may not have been the best way to put them together, but I'm sure you can find a way to utilize some of these guys uh, with a few other units to really be successful. Ooh, look at this. I haven't even seen this one. A war kennel. I feel bad deploying the dogs. Maybe I should stick to more uh, more tanks. And I like this guy, the Minesweeper. Targets and in, in placements and takes no damage by, by mines, because uh, there are mines that you can plant, which are pretty darn cool. In general, Overall, this game is super fun, and I really like its fast-paced nature, and I like the polish that 505 has put into it. They've just got really nice things, like you can go back and see uh, all of your past rounds here, how you did, who you played against, what their lineup was, what your lineup was, and you can go back and instantly watch it, which I think is a great and smart feature uh, that just shows the level of care that they have put into Battle Islands Commanders. And they didn't have to do stuff like this if they wanted to just throw it out there, but clearly they didn't. And, and this is like really high quality level of polish and it's definitely impressed me big thanks to 505 games for sponsoring this video i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you go check it out like i said four people will win 50 dollars gift cards to the store of their choice go download the game in the link in the description and then leave a comment letting me know what platform you got the game on and then we can pick four of you to get these gift cards i'm excited to see what you think of the game let me know in the comments below thanks so much for watching hope you guys are all in a fantastic day i'm gonna get back to another round and actually i better mess with my battalion first now uh, you can also join alliances which allow you to uh, meet up with friends and then you can work together share units uh, and engage in practice battles uh, and also just work towards taking over the world together but before i do that i gotta fix this battalion so we'll do that now until next time everybody thanks again for watching fantastic day drink so much i love you and we will see you all Later.